Attention shoppers, we now have taste in the bread aisle. Dave's Killer Bread. That's right, an organic bread that's no longer a snooze for your taste buds. Dave's Killer Bread is on a mission to make the most of the loaf, to rid the world of GMOs, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial ingredients, and plant the seeds of good in all that they bake. Killer taste, killer texture, and always organic. Dave's Killer Bread. Bread amplified. Grand Canyon University, an affordable private Christian university, is one of the largest and fastest growing universities in the country, offering more than 270 programs online. In addition to federal grants and aid, GCU's online students received nearly $130 million in institutional scholarships in 2022. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu slash myoffer to see the scholarships you may qualify for. John of Porthos. Immediately he received news of Aurora's danger, Joel sets out hot foot for Paris and Saint Germain, leaving Friquet to bring honor in and Annette the hunchback safely back with him. Friquet and his charges are to go to Francois, that good friend who has already done so much for Joel and Aurore. But where is Francois? Joel, of course, has no idea that she is not safely in her own home, but the Marchioness de Montespan has searched Paris to no avail. The great lady walks now up and down, up and down, a scowl of frustration spoiling the proud beauty of her face. She stops suddenly as the door opens and La Bosse comes in. You sent for me, noble lady? Of course I did. Heaven knows where you have been or what you have been doing. Seems to me I no longer know where anybody is. Well, come in, come in, don't stand there. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm an old woman and I can't hurry any longer. You'd hurry fast enough if I put Monsieur de la Reine on your trail. And I will mark my word, you old hag, and it shall serve me well. Lady, lady, I'm your humble servant. Have mercy on a poor old woman. I'm too old for Monsieur de la Reine's sire. Oh, I'll do anything you ask of me. Oh, of course, an old woman must live. Have I not paid you well? You're most generous, but even breathing costs money nowadays. You get no more from me, Mother Boss, till I get results. Have you heard from the cutthroats who sent off the honor Well, it's a long way yet to go. Devil and... take the man who should have been back by this. And what a sound was. Have you found her hiding place yet? I've done my best, lady, but she's not one to be trifled with. What do you mean? It is the aura around her head, my lady. I warned you once and I tell you again. She walks in security, that one. And good fortune is her shadow. I felt it when I saw her, winking though she was. It's her aura. Oh, fiddle six you old witch. Aura. <laughs> A thing for a lot of them. As for good fortune, there are those who think it fortunate to be dead. Perhaps she is one of those. Perhaps. Of course, I could be mistaken. I'm an old woman. You'd better be mistaken. For not a penny more will you get from me until all my enemies are removed and my past lies clear before me. All my enemies, you understand? I am your faithful servant, lady. Good. Then we'd best do something about Francois and my children. For I have just learned that his majesty is due tonight. So soon? Yes, so soon. And I do assure you that so great is his paternal pride in these sniveling breasts of mine... They want to see them as soon as he arrives. And if I can't produce them, then there'll be trouble. And I do not like trouble, La Boss, when it concerns me. And what would you have me do? Find something. That lady I tried, and you have tried. And what are we to do now? My friend, I am to be Queen of France. To do this, I must remain the favorite of the king until Maria Teresa is no more. And some old reports of her health. 
This will not be long now. Why do you not give her a potion, then? <laughs> I can mix a royal one for such a throat, and all well, quickly, so quickly. So quickly for us, too, you old fool. No, I am not so stupid. Maria Theresa is not long for this world. Poor, plain Spaniard. But meanwhile, I must hold my place in the king's favor. It seems his eyes have strayed of late. To this front one? Don't be ridiculous. To a governor? Strange things have happened. No. He has turned to a younger one, a raw de Tremblay. The Dame de Loch Maria, now they call. Oh, if I could but get near her. Then you could mix your royal potion. Then why not? She is too well guarded by the cunning old fox Almada. It was he maneuvered her to the position she now holds with the queen. And he who watches over her constantly. He and that self-opinionated fool, Montrevier. Oh, if I could but be close enough to administer the poison, then who care for Francois? You know little of witchcraft, then, milady. What do you mean? There are spells and incantations, powers for evil, that do not need to be administered by the glass. You know of these things? I am an old woman, my noble lady, old in witchcraft and sorcery. I studied with great masters. Some don't believe in these things nowadays, but I know, I know. La vast of things. You mean you can cause harm? Death? By powers of darkness? Evil wrought without poison? By spells and sorcery? Is such a thing possible? I have seen it, lady. There is as much power in evil as in good, to those who know. Ha, 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 ha. To those who know the spells, potions are unnecessary. Then we will win yet, eh, hey, old witch? Ah, but I'm an old woman, lady, and my memory is not as good as it was. What if I can't remember? Not easy for an old brain like mine to conjure up such power as you require. Would gold help your memory? Ah, it's wonderful what the clink of gold does to a stubborn old brain. Good. Then we have means of removing Madame de Loch Maria. What of Francois? Can you not use the same method on her? Why did you not speak of these powers before? They would have saved me a lot of bother. Why was told at my command I could be rid of all my enemies, Almada even, and Francois? But not Francois. For I must have the children. No, not Francois. What do you mean? I was just a dream, noble lady. These are deep powers we now tamper with and must be used carefully. And I warn you, do not lose too much evil or it may turn on you. So there is danger, too. Well, that gives spice to it. But come, we've no time to lose. I want you to use your powers now to see if you can find Francois. Surely one who can summon up the powers of darkness at will can find one stray female and a couple of children. I will try. You have second sight. You have assured me of it. An assurance for which I have already paid much gold. You were able to tell me of the Breton's death and assure me Honorin has given up his note. Now see what you can tell me of Francois. Or are you not the witch you have pretended to be? I'm an old woman, lady, but I'll do my best. Be silent now and do not interrupt, or it'll break the spell. Get on with it, then. By fire, by water, storm and tender, you power the darkness, bring me forth. I can see her now. Yes. She is happy. I can see her smiling. Are the children with her? No. Yes. Yes, they are there. Happy and well. Heaven be praised for that thing. Where are they? There are people with us. Many people. 
She holds out her hand. Say. Oh, Say. come, come. This is getting us nowhere. Where is she hiding? Say. No. No, it cannot be. What is it? What do you see? Oh, yes. On her head. And I felt it before. It's true. True. What is it? What is it, you old fool? What are you saying? Hey. Hey. What? I do not understand. You devil take you, woman, and he probably will. What did you see? I saw your friend, Francoise. I told you, lady. Yes, yes, surrounded by people. But what else did you see? What was it alarmed you so? Why did you turn so pale and begin trembling? Tell me. I do not know. It was something beyond my understanding. Why won't you tell me? Well, you could if you would, bet I vowed. No, no, you don't understand these things. The visions come and go. It's no use asking. But one thing I can tell you, there was a warning there. For me? What? Time is short, with a bad portent ahead for you. And what you must do, you must do quickly. Trouble rides quickly to your gate. Time is short, and all is lost unless you act quickly. Yes. Yes, you are right. Don't waste time, lady, on this Francoise. It's on the other one. Madame de Lockmaria. Yes, yes. If he you wish to remove, then let us remove her quickly. Before the fans run out and the wheel turns to full circle. Yes. Let us remove her, Mother Boss. Let us remove her with all speed. We can deal with Francoise later when we find her. Madame, I cannot find her. Madame de Sujet is not there. Monsieur Lazare, you must be mistaken. Francoise would not go away without telling me. Madame de Locmaria, I have done my best. I've been to the house of your friend. I tell you, there is nobody there. But it is impossible. Did you make inquiries? Surely someone must know where they have gone. She is the governess of the royal children. She could not just disappear. It seems she has. I made inquiries. I asked everybody. Here is that foolish persistent Monsieur Lejeune, they said. Why does she keep asking everybody for the Marchioness de Sujere? She's not here. I did it for you, madame, and yet you're not pleased with me. Oh, truly, I am grateful to you. Then show your gratitude, kind lady, by smoothing out the creases in your forehead. I did my best. I'm sure you did, monsieur. And I have said I'm grateful. I, I cannot help feeling worried. Francoise was my only friend. Madame. I mean, my only woman friend. And she was worried. I can't think why. She was afraid of something. If I worked for Madame de Montestin, I should be afraid, too. No. No, it seemed it was for me she feared something. And yet it is she who has disappeared. She has probably gone back to Paris. You have had difficulty in sending a message out. Perhaps she's had difficulty in getting a message in. Perhaps. You comfort me, monsieur. And yet... And yet... It was the king's return, Francois feared. I don't know why. But now his majesty is due at any moment. Francois has disappeared. I do not know where my husband is. No, monsieur. Suddenly, I am very afraid. Mm -hmm. 